LFT patterns and causes of jaundice. Prehepatic jaundice can be caused by an increase in hemolysis. This can be due to an acquired or hereditary hemolytic anemia, malaria, or genetic cause such as sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, G6P dehydrogenase deficiency. Prehepatic jaundice can also be caused by a decrease in bilirubin metabolism. This can be due to kriegler nager syndrome, type 1 and 2, or Gilbert syndrome. Lab findings. The urine has less or no bilirubin present, an increase in urobilinogen, and a normal colour. Faeces have an increase in urobilinogen and a dark brown colour. The blood shows an increase in unconjugated bilirubin and an increase in total bilirubin. Intrahepatic or hepatocellular jaundice. The causes of this type of jaundice can be toxic or iatrogenic. This can be due to alcoholic liver disease or drug-induced hyperbilirubinemia. This can be caused by gentamicin, paracetamol overdoses or NSAIDs. Infection. This can be due to hepatitis A to E, ascending cholangitis, a parasitic infection, AIDS cholangiopathy or other viral problems. An autoimmune problem such as autoimmune hepatitis, primary biliary cirrhosis or primary sclerosing cholangitis. Metabolic primary non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or secondary non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Genetic causes such as alpha-1 antitrypsin or Wilson's disease. Lab findings. The urine has conjugated bilirubin present, a dark colour and an increase in urobilinogen. The faeces has a normal or pale colour and a decrease in urobilinogen. The blood shows serum albumin levels are reduced, but globulins are raised in response to an increase in antibodies. ALP, ALT and AST are raised, as is total bilirubin. A hepatocellular pattern of damage is characterised by an isolated or predominant rise in serum transaminases. This is because the transaminases reside in hepatocytes, so any damage to the cells will cause a rise in the levels circulating in the blood. The increase seen in ALT and AST will be bigger than the increases seen in ALP and bilirubin. When there is more increase in ALP than AST, it indicates a bile duct problem. When the rise in ALT is bigger than that of ALP, it indicates a liver problem. When the rise in ALT is bigger than the levels of AST, it indicates viral or drug necrosis of the liver. When the rise in AST is greater than the rise in ALT, it indicates an alcoholic or drug cirrhosis. Post-hepatic or obstructive jaundice. Post-hepatic jaundice can be due to an intrahepatic obstruction or an extrahepatic obstruction. Intrahepatic obstructions can be caused by primary biliary cirrhosis, drugs such as phenothiazines, or primary sclerosing cholangitis. Extrahepatic obstructions can be due to a benign biliary obstruction, such as gallstones in the common bile duct, a benign common bile duct stricture, or biliary atresia. A neoplastic obstruction may also be present, such as cancer of the pancreas or a cholangiocarcinoma. Lab findings. The urine is dark coloured. There is bilirubin present because conjugated bilirubin is water soluble and decreased urobilinogen levels because urobilinogen is trapped within the small intestine due to the obstruction. The faeces is pale clay coloured and there is little or no urobilinogen present. The blood shows increased conjugated bilirubin 
and this rise is higher than any other abnormal value seen on the liver function tests. The ALP, ALT and AST may also be raised. With the intrahepatic obstruction, the increase in ALP is less than three times the upper limit. With an extrahepatic obstruction, the ALP increase is more than three times the upper limit. The rises in ALP, bilirubin and GGT are higher than the rises seen with ALT or AST. Once confirming the raised ALP originates from the liver, an abdominal ultrasound will help to determine whether there is an intra or extrahepatic cause of obstruction.